Greetings, welcome back to Random Tronic. My name is Chris, and today I want to show you another piece of test equipment that I got. This. It came from Banggood. It's a funny box, we'll get into that in a moment. Direct Digital Synthesis Function Signal Generator. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's quite easy. You just press the little subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when I post a new video. Here it is. It came from Banggood, as I said, £38.37. pence. It's a Daniel FY3. 224S 24 megahertz dual channel arbitrary waveform DDS function signal generator sine square wave sweep counter and the box itself is very very interesting they knew Daniel Donu factory this thing that has got horns resemble a bull I guess reminds me of Chicago Bulls basketball team box made me smile the perspective on the box so the artistic approach those things meant to be B and C's but they are just uh, different I guess and this here is not a UFO trying to steal a cow that's the rotary knob and there is more more of that here i guess it transmits the message about what is what it made me happy what we have is the unit itself two sets of bnc2 crocodile clips cables usb a to b which has actually got interestingly hp logo on it so we've got a quality cable and we have got a power cord a figure eight plug on one end and american style that's where they're supposed to have like little holes in here 10 amp 250 volts rating is fine uh, the plug is just not right for where we are fear not i came prepared here we have a proper uk plug off it goes so let's put the proper plug on We got a switch, a couple of membrane switches, channel one and two output, input, presumably for trigger, TTL input or output, not sure. A little CD uh, with some software, I guess. A little stand to hold it elevated from the bench like so, or it can sit flat on the feet. Four Phillips screws. And those are really long self-toppers. The unit is suspiciously light, so I think there will be just a switcher and a small circuit board with the whole generator on it. So there are little latches that kind of hold some stuff together. There we go. USB interface card. CH, the same chip that's used on a lot of modern Arduinos, switch mode power supply, generator itself, it's all here on the board that's mounted in the front, so as I said, unit is suspiciously light, because there isn't much in there. Now, as far as the construction of this, there are a few things to be desired, so first of all, this here is main, two little thin leads are going to the board, into a connector, and there is another connector going to the front, which is the main power switch they could have at least put a little bit of heat shrink tubing to cover this up the range of voltages coming out we've got i can see that over on the board on the main one minus 12 plus 12 two grounds and two five volts rails and here is the board flux residue it has not been cleaned the isolation is not too bad you know about eight millimeters or so isolation slots across opto isolator fuse i really don't like those fuse because when they blow they're irreplaceable seems safe enough to be used the entire generator is here on this board and minus the power supplies this is pretty much the whole unit the knob comes off and we've got a rotary encoder behind it six screws to be removed uh, it seems something is still holding it yeah there is some ad adhesive underneath i can hear it letting go and it is just the adhesive around the front panel not much more on the front i guess heatsink here near the output stage on there are two little chips underneath the heatsink and those are probably some sort of amplifiers for the output there's a whole bunch of those chips those are all the same main processing power here we've got the stc 12 ca 56 s2 it's a microcontroller programmed with some software to run this thing and uh, field tech tft asic 1727 we won't be able to find any data sheet on this all those chips are MC4053, 30021, there's a TI logo, 3VT, VPM3 and then G4 with an underline. Here's a good one. So I've googled what I saw on the chip and here is what I found. So I found uh, someone on the forum trying to find the datasheet for this TI amplifier. 
And as we noticed ourselves, first line 30021, then TI logo followed by 3VT, and then VPM3, like this. And that's exactly the chip that we have. And someone from TI said that they cannot find any record of that marking and any package combination. I was able to find the data sheet on this little chip, and it's a JRC4558D. It's a dual op-amp. Those are power amps, but TI logo, but TI denies knowing of them. Funny. Let's put this back together and switch it on. And it came back together relatively easily. Let's power it on. And we get it. FY3224S, main frequency 10 kilohertz, amplitude 10 volts, sign. So I guess that's what we get on the output. So let's see. So, okay. The beep is a little bit sad. Okay. And with those buttons, we can switch the digits. Uh, would it roll over if we go above? Yes, it does. That's good. Uh, this presumably, yeah, this will allow us to change the amplitude. So it goes up to 20 volts on the output. Uh, what waves have we got? So we've got sine, square, pulse, triangle, sawtooth, negative sawtooth, DC, pre 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm not sure what those pre's are. Pre 10 and arbitrary, arbitrary 1, 2, 3. And back to sine. Frequency set to 340 hertz at 17 volts sine wave, 17 volts amplitude, 340 hertz up to the nearest zero. That's better. So we've got 340. Oh, changed it to 350. And right on the money. Let's try changing it by less. So 351, 52. That jumped. Oh, yeah. It's uh, quite good, this. 353, that is. And yeah. 354 and let's see how far we can go up 10.354 yeah that's that's good 21.354 38.354 let's see how far the meter will go okay we're at 1.31 megahertz and so far the readings are absolutely spot on with what's on the generator display 98.10 11, 11.710.354 and yeah that's uh, I'm quite happy with that here is the contents of the CD that came with this uh, now I'm using this on my little tablet which hasn't got a CD drive so I just copied it onto a USB stick here is an interesting one it says license agreement insert your license agreements here so presumably that's where the agreement should have gone and you have to agree or do not agree you have to agree but to what and there is also a manual in english which describes uh, all the functions plug it in detected something that's a good sign it's pc control software for fy3200 and it's all in english that was in the user manual folder we can control it from a computer port connect com4 aha connected so let's try to draw something and that's a interesting wave so let's send the waveform data it's going slowly and i guess after some fighting it kind of works let me show you oh i've just switched on linear sweep and it's running we can stop that i guess it stops and we can change frequency from here and pretty much all the settings is just everything in one place however it's a little bit clunky the interface so presumably you can input some parameters for what kind of wave do you want to see or we can do a step wave and that's the am signal that's fm annoyingly it doesn't show the wave that's stored in the arbitrary positions so this uh, little meter unity ut33d has got an output of a square wave of approximately 50 hertz it's not a very stable one but say uh, it's just for testing and as you can see 49 50 hertz if we go to the counter so that's what the counter does it just counts the impulses i'm not sure how to what to do with the rest of the options here i'm not going to pretend that i know what i'm doing with all those i need to look at the instruction manual that is the fy3200s dual channel dds signal generator hope you guys enjoyed this look at this this will be a fine addition to my 
little hobby lab over here um, for the channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do and uh, there is more weird and wonderful stuff coming please remember to like the video below leave a comment if you liked something and share those videos on social media of your choice for today that's it thank you very much for joining me and take care